Hello and welcome to your lesson today. Today's lesson is a key skills lesson and it's all about climate graphs. We're first of all going to look at what a climate graph is. Then we're going to learn how to read it and then we're going to learn how to start analysing it. So let's get started. We now need to look at what a climate graph shows us. And to do this, we're going to remind ourselves of what the word climate means. So climate just means, on average, how much does it rain? What's the temperature like, hot or cold, over time? So it's based on data that's collected over at least 30 years. And this gives us our climate. So what a climate graph shows us is how much rain has fallen, on average, each month in a place in millimetres and then the temperature shows us how hot or cold it's been in each month on average using degrees Celsius. So what a climate graph shows us is both of these pieces of data together on the same graph so we can create patterns and we can easily see what the climate is like. This is what the climate graph looks like then and this is showing us the climate for the UK over the year 2018. So we have got the blue bars showing us the bar chart and that is showing us rainfall, how much rain has fallen on average every single month. And we read that from the y axis. So the axis on the left tells us the number that has fallen each month. So for example, January, it's fallen about 135 millimetres of rain in that month. The right hand side axis or the z-axis is showing us the average temperature. So we read where this line is in the middle of the uh, bar. We read it to the right hand side to see what the temperature has been in that month on average. So for example, September, I would go to the middle of the bar and I would go to the right hand side axis and it would tell me that it's been about 13 degrees in the UK in 2018 in September. And along the bottom, you've got your month. So it tells you on the x-axis which month is which. Easy way to remember it is line is temperature, rainfall is bar. Normally it's easy because the bar are, bars are blue and the temperature is red. So you can use it because rain is often seen in pictures as blue. Now going to complete the World War game that is in your class charts to see what you've remembered so far. Please take a picture of your score and upload it to class charts. For your next activity, we are now going to learn how to analyse the climate graphs. So to do this, you need to remember which axes we are reading off for rain and for temperature. You need to remember that the blue bars are rain and you're going to read the number of how much it's rained by looking at the average rainfall in millimetres, which has got a blue box around it. So remember, blue is rain. And then you're going to do the same for temperature, but using the line. And then you've got to remember that the temperature is the red axis. So remember, red equals temperature. You are going to pick five points worth of questions and answer them on a piece of paper. And you need to take a picture of your answers to upload to your teacher. So I could pick two two point questions and one one point question, or I could pick uh, three one point questions and one two point question. And then I'm going to answer them on a piece of paper take a picture and upload them to my teacher. If I am using the blue bars to find rainfall, I would use a ruler and put an arrow and I would see where on the blue axis that the bar goes up to. So this one is in between 120 and 140. It's closer to 140 a little bit, so I might say that that's 135 millimetres of rain in January. For temperature, I will do the same, but I'd go to the middle of the bar and see where the line is. Put a line across the axis to the red axis where it says average temperature degrees. 
I would see that this line now is in between 14 and 16, so the average temperature in August is 15 degrees. You are now going to pause the video and you're going to answer five points worth of questions. Good luck! Now you have completed your five point challenge, I would like you to complete the Google quiz form that's attached to class charts and take a picture of your score and then upload that to class charts as well. Well done for completing today's lesson. You've been fantastic. You now know what a climate graph shows. You've learned how to read it and you have analysed it by answering your point questions and completing the Google quiz. Please upload your Google quiz score and your five point questions to class charts so your teacher can check your progress. Have a great day. Goodbye.